And just for our audience, see how we're approaching this topic. We're starting with the history. We're looking for clues on history that can help us prioritize pulmonary hypertension or another diagnosis. Then we're gonna to get to the physical exam. We're gonna look for clues on physical exam. And then we're gonna to get to the data, whether it's laboratory, electrocardiogram or imaging. As you see, you wanna be very systematic in your approach. And that's why the h &P is structured as such. So when we get to the physical exam, um, what I, I love is like an analogical sort of teaching is when, when Robbie teaches the approach to cirrhosis, he breaks it down into liver dysfunction and portal hypertension. With pulmonary hypertension, you can take a similar approach. You can break it down to findings of right-sided failure and findings of pulmonary hypertension. You see, the issue is findings of right-sided failure um, do not prioritize pulmonary hypertension. What are those findings of right-sided failure? 